Hi, how are you? Uh, your name is Elton. Uh, I'm sure you're doing amazing today, as I am doing amazing too. So today I'm just gonna be showing you this one simple accounting system to use on your small business. So trust me, if you're using this system, I'm um, sure, and I'm telling you this now, uh, you're gonna feel like you have put all your ducks on a row. Because when you have like put all your ducks on the row, uh, it's easy to monitor them properly. So meaning uh, it's gonna be like uh, you now can view and oversee everything that's happening on your business which is what I want you to learn today uh, since I've just compiled this uh, simple uh, accounting process as you can see on your screen right now so without wasting no time let's just begin so as you can see it's written the accounting process so this is one accounting system or process that I trust and use for my small business. Uh, so you can use it also for your small business. So we all know that record keeping is key to uh, starting and running a business more efficiently uh, because record keeping uh, makes you aware of what's going on on the business uh, overall. So let's just check this uh, simple uh, flowchart of this accounting process that I've just compiled for you. So okay, let's see here. It's year beginning. Okay. Uh, so on year beginning, what what happens exactly at the beginning of the year? Uh, okay, you're gonna set up your budget. Or uh, let's just zoom over here so that we make sure that. Uh, uh, you can see very well. So yeah, you, as you can see here, uh, you set up your budget uh, at the beginning of the year. Uh, the, the, the amount that you're going to use as working capital and the one you're going to use for buying uh, material and stuff like that for producing your products or rendering your services. So it's either that budget, it's going to be the startup capital or it's going to be uh, revenue from the previous year if your business has been operating or uh, if your business is a startup it's gonna be your startup capital then your working capital it's gonna be your budget then the amount you're prepared to use on running your business then secondly we have the inventory uh, your tools your machinery what you have bought and everything uh, then we have the balance sheet so if your business uh, was existing uh, a year before then you're gonna be having the balance sheet uh, that you've compiled uh, for that past year so now you're starting a fresh year with that balance sheet you know uh, your assets all your assets your current uh, medium term and long term so uh, the, the second step then daily what you do daily uh, on a 365 basis uh, it's income uh, you record you record all your transactions whatever happens in the business uh, concerning financial transactions you record that uh, so you're gonna record your income you're gonna record your expenses so each and every time there's uh, so it's like you're gonna have your book your journal so on that journal each and every time a client or customer buys you record each and every time you you buy something or as material or or maybe packaging material or some sort it will depend on your business then you record that your, your debtors too and your creditors you record all that so we call this accrual record keeping meaning you record each and every transaction or financial transaction that happens within the business for more accurate record keeping so what you do monthly then since you have recorded all these uh, daily uh, you summarize your transactions so you're going to summarize your incomes uh, monthly your monthly incomes you're going to summarize your uh, expenses your monthly expenses you're going to summarize your monthly debtors you're going to summarize your creditors so you're going to be having a record that has your monthly incomes your monthly expenses your 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 monthly debtors your monthly creditors 
also you'll be having the daily one that you are always uh, recording every day then year end uh, what you do at the year end you compile meaning you're gonna take all these uh, records that you have been keeping uh, compiling your then compiling your income statement uh, compiling your cash flow statement compiling your balance sheet compiling your inventory uh, your, your 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 materials that you have uh, you, then you do analysis at the end of the year how did the business go you look at those records that's what record keeping helps you from uh, you can uh, analyze all your data how did the business go how much did I buy uh, how much did I sell or <clears throat> how much did I buy you as the entrepreneur or as the business owner buying from other businesses uh, those are your expenses actually so analysis helps you on that then you know where to add on your business or where to change that's where innovation comes in now you have the chance because you now or you know what's happening on your business you now have uh, the power to change what's uh, what's not being done right and then do it right so that's what this accounting system does for you then after that that it's year end right you're gonna be having your income statement you're having your cash flow so if you don't know how to compile all this uh, go on research I trust Google a lot uh, it, it will show you how to compile all this and it's very simple you know your expenses you know your your your, your income so if you record this information and summarize it monthly then every year end it's gonna be easy for you to compile uh, income statement income statements if you can't you can outsource those services we do offer those services as at blossom builder we are business consultants so you can consult us uh too we have a facebook page you can go on facebook and check out blossom builder business consultant we're there on instagram uh, we have a website so you can check us out if you need to outsource uh, those services so once again it's year beginning beginning of another year uh, for you to start afresh then you'll be having all this and the analysis then you know how to start on the right foot that year so that's it for this uh, simple accounting process so uh, if you want you can uh, follow it or copy it and use it as your own uh, accounting process for your own small business so thanks for watching and um, I believe uh, this video helped a lot and you can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one on business uh, startups um, efficiency and side ventures and ways of making money uh, we make all those videos for you uh, don't forget to also like and share this video since this info is very important. Thanks for watching, by the way.